Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 120 of Jade Falcon Freeborn. This will be the last episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Uh, there will be one more episode, 121, which will be a combination of Falcon Freeborn and um, Night Witches, where we're going to compare the crews and see how we did. Um, we're going to compare, um, you know, number of missions taken um, and um, days in, in service uh, along with number of kills, just to see what kind of ratio we get and find out who's the best pilot. It's definitely going to be between Mockingbird and um, and Megasaur, but we'll have to see how that goes. That'll be episode 151, but this one here, 120, we are ready to take our Flashpoint. It is one day from ending, and unfortunately this is the same uh, Flashpoint that I just finished up with uh, Night Witches, so I kind of already have an idea of how this is going to play out. But I don't know what kind of mechs we're going to be against. Now we're I've maxed out the difficulty, so hopefully we'll get some we'll get a uh, difficult uh, mission. But let's have a look at it here. Um, engagement length long, consecutive deployments. Yes, it's three in a row, which uh, which should be pretty good, I think. Um, no restrictions for tonnage, obviously. Uh, five skulls. So let's begin this sucker. Grim dark in high orbit. That's Agent Smith. Oh, I mean Agent X. Sorry. Commander Griffin, good to see you again. Likewise. I'm picking up strange power readings from this planet, Commander. Well, uh, I wonder what our friends at Comstar have for us this time. I don't think this is a conversation necessar uh, is necessary right now. We're trying to negotiate with a potential employer. Alright, well, at least hear him out. Alright. Uh, I'll put my mouse back in my pocket, Commander. Really? Let's keep it in that pocket. Yeah, and keep it in the pocket. Good to proceed. Um, a friend of mine has gone to ground on this planet. I need your help getting him out of there. I cannot trust anyone else with this commander, not even my superiors. This is a personal request from me. What's so spooky, buddy? A while back, a mist jump put me on a strange planet a good distance outside of the inner sphere where I met some near sentient drones. Okay. My mechs were captured and converted to drones. However, due to the heroic um, opposing faction drones, we were able to get out of there with our lives. Near sentient drones. Wow, I bet everyone would be gunning for them if news of this leaked. Yeah, really. Anyway, um, uh, and this one, one particular drone uh, was the one that helped. I needed to escort him out of his defensive position. He's a unique one. His AI core grows and grows until he gets overloaded and um, with data, dump, uh, data and dumps his, uh, uh, sorry, and dumps it on a lesser AI. So he may seem simple-minded right now, but in a few years he'll be back to normal. Dumping his gathered intelligence into a lesser AI, he reverts to a near prehistoric state. Really. It may have caused a few um, of our more recent AI malfunctions uh, and managed to get himself lost and, and is now more, in his now more simple state. <clears throat> I'm counting on you to get him out of there, and I've enjoyed repaying this favor to him. I understand I'll get my best team assembled. It's my only team. See you, planet side. All right, let's do this. Come on. All right, Grimdark One, four skulls. Let's take this sucker. We'll get our friend out. We need to bring your A game, do we? Gonna go full salvage on this sucker, see what we can get out of it. Not that it really makes that much difference. Um, actually, since this is an escort mission, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did in the other one. I'm gonna use, use my second team, and um, you know what? Yeah, let's let's leave it as challenging. Let's go the second team standard standard loadout and see how. It, well, you know what? I don't know. This would have worked in the other other uh, the other game, but this one I don't know. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what we're going to be up against. So four and a half versus four skull. So we didn't change this, did we? Two ERs. Oh, we did. It's got four ER ARs and two ATM9s. Now, did I? 
Yeah, I put John. I forgot. I made the <laughs> I made the exterminator very similar to um, to the screamer, so he's, he can jump behind the enemy. Um, do we want to go this route? Let's just do it. I don't know why I'm waffling. All right. Well, at least it's a different map than the other one, which is great. I guess it's a nighttime battle. Sunglasses. sunglasses? The sun ain't even out. What are you talking about? All right. Uh, Waiting for orders. How far can we jump? Actually, not bad. Not bad. We can sprint farther, but... <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's just get up here. I don't know where the enemy is going to be, so let's uh, get ourselves into a defensive position. Good to go. I have no idea what to expect here. I'm away. Double time. I mean, I kind of know what we'd had the last uh, with Jade Falcon, or uh, sorry, not Jade Falcon Freeborn. <laughs> That's these guys uh, with Night Witches. I know what we had there, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get something similar here or not. Okay. Yeah, the vehicle. Bandits. Selling in Mark II, eh? Alright. They got some speedy people. At least we're a little faster than uh, Night Witches. They were a little bit slower just by, by, by like two or three in the initiative category. But if this is anything, uh, uh, sorry, indicative of the uh, last episode, the more vehicles we had, the, the slower it was. And you know, I, I, some, I can't. Sorry, I apologize. Somebody uh, posted a comment that it's most likely because the vehicles have a greater movement range than mechs. It takes a lot longer for them to figure out what they're going to do, which makes total sense. Um, What do we got over here? Zephyr. Gonna do this because I got a feeling the other enemies are over here and they are. Gladiator. Okay, we gotta make sure we kill that guy fast. Um, got normal and HE uh, ATMs. So we got enough for about 12 turns of firing roughly. Uh, yes. Nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, now how much armor do you have in the back? 95, eh? Can we... OP the back? That's actually a pretty good chance to hit. Yeah, we've only got HE. Um, do I want to use it on a vehicle though? I don't think so. I'm gonna save the HE for when we're fighting heavier mechs. Roger. Wow, looks like the two micros hit, but that was it. Nope. Shit, he's getting close. Freaking got the tag on. Sure wish I had a thunder mech right about now. This guy gets close, we're in big trouble. I don't know, how far can he go, do you think? Jeez, terrible chances to hit. We gotta take it, though. Definitely have to shoot the sides to as best we can here. Ah, oh, God, even worse. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. Okay, it looks like their vehicle's going first, the Zephyr.
I'm almost considering jumping the um, the screamer in, giving that guy a super evasive target to go after, like jumping it in so it's box against the walk uh, the uh, rocks here so that he can't punch him from behind. Because we can do Phantom Mac, right? Which will make it even harder to hit. Although if it does land a hit, though, that's the that's the big problem, right? Waiting on you, Commander. Taking the high road. Make sure we stay the frig away from that guy. Um. Gonna OP this guy's backside. We're gonna leave the ATMs off. Here it comes. Oh, really? Like that, really? It Damn it. Yeah, all we needed to do was hit with two. We only hit with one. Alright, where are you going? Not really anywhere you can go. I mean, the other thing too, depending on how fast that gladiator is, we can always just jump up on the hill here with the two, with these two mechs, and just shoot them, and then have these two just run them around the rock. I mean, it is a possibility. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but it is a possibility. Okay, that's the edge of our range here. Oh, God, really? Yeah. All right, um... Okay. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Now, can we Question is, can he get up here? I don't think he can. I don't want to risk that though. Yeah, I don't think he can get up here. I'm going to go over here though. I somehow think he's in melee range. God damn it. A, if I go here, there's a chance he can go before me. He's got so much armor. <sighs> yeah, we got to peel back here. If I have to do this, this is going to be a really long battle. <laughs> Stand still when I'm attacking you. Uh, 
That's a long way to travel. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Really? Yep. Well, hit with one anyway. Shit. How much back armor does this guy have? I have no idea now. You think if one of my guys, they all have Nova CEWSs, you think if one of them spotted this guy, they'd all have the same targeting info? It's so frustrating. What's he gonna do? He's just deciding which me which mech he's gonna wreck, and we know which one that's gonna be. Gocho, man, I'm sorry. Yeah. Miss. Weapon system down. <sighs> yeah, Commander. We are too light. We are far too light for this match. You can't take another hit like that. Uh, I mean, if he's going to do it, he's going to hit you again anyway. Looks like he will. Oh, man. Wilco. Well, at least it was a tough fight. Angle's good, but you need a hit. Damn it. I can't even vigilance. Special delivery. Hey, stay in the crop there. You are underperforming. We are all seriously out of position here. I mean, if we if everybody rushed him and tried to shoot him from behind, I don't even think that would have made a difference. I really don't. Man, we may even like we may fail this mission on the first run here. What the hell? Come on, you're gonna wreck that mad dog, aren't you? Um, what do you need? Can you not get on top of this rock? Stop you from hitting that other side. Up high. God, the chances to hit are so bad. Receiving you.
Okay, well it's slowly taking damage. Only way we're gonna kill this guy is to, to hit him in the back. The only way we're gonna kill him. We just lost the mad dog. What? That was a really minimum attack. Oh, it took the leg, that's why. Oh, we got super lucky. Okay, nice. Oh shit, he goes before us? No! He's gonna step on her. Yep. Fuck up. BTFU, man. Just fire the ER mediums for now. Well, actually, these pretty good chance to hit, but you know what? We're hitting the front. We want to hit the back, so I'm just going to pling them. I'm going to plink them. Not gonna move. Commander. All right, buddy, you stay right there. Locking on. Standing by. Attacking from position. We still got two more waves of guys we got to deal with. Oops. No, we don't want to move. Wait, what? Commander? Did we shoot the... Oh, I guess we shot the vehicle before. Alright, fire it. Moving to within melee range, we'll just keep backing up. Heading out. Got it. Failed to connect. Good to go. Just plank him. You gotta hit him though, guys. Come on. Gotta hit him. Roger. Jesus Christ. See if we can get him to come down here. Come and get me. Reserve it. Come on, buddy. Think about what you're doing. 
Oh, man, he can jump up on us. He's got to watch out for his back, right? Forget it, just shoot him. Can you get up on a hill behind him that he won't be able to attack you? That's beside him. There we go. Understood. Ugh, weak attempts at back shots, but we'll take it. Copy that. Okay, we can see his back. Let's see, let's use that to our advantage. Should have warlord that. Gonna be able to come after me there. My chance to hit drops dramatically back here. Copy that. Let's vigilance at those. So we get a chance to get ahead of them. Um, jeez. ATM it is. I have the advantage. Got some greens, let's take them. Firing. Okay, finally getting through. Critical hit, Commander. Good to go. Attack him again, please. Affirmative. Oh yes. Oh, thank God. All right, I think I'll get Avalanche to activate. Let's make sure we, yeah. Yeah, you could have gotten us up here. Okay, let's just get out here. All right, we're down to three, guys. Let's hope we can pull this off. I'm here. All right, girl. Let's uh, get this thing rolling. Receiving you. All right. Grim Dark, ready to move. Jack Friend, we'll trust you. Really. Sleep near, another sleep near. At least this guy's really tough. We're gonna focus fire on one guy at a time and try and take them out. Not so, I mean, depending on what they, what we got two more guys, one guy over here, one guy over here. So depending on what they are, um, not really worried about this guy. He's a 100 tonner. He's got tons of armor, 1900 ar ar armor on him. So, Spectre, okay. Now we just need to know what's on the right side. Yeah, Commander. Okay. 
Okay, does this sleep near? Oh, nice. Uh, I'm going to HE this thing. I want to see if I can get rid of it fast. Let's Warlord get a little bit more damage on him and fire. Targeting. Nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Commander? Maybe things are looking up a little bit. Gonna pot shot this guy. Got those ATMs. Standing by. Let's get you into battle. Ah, oh, crap. We gotta worry, worry about uh, Jerky Boy here if he's gonna move or not. Anyway, let's get up here. Really? Sorry guys, turning the ATMs off because I gotta have a good chance to hit with those things. I think this battle, the two ER larges would have been much better. Mjolnir, okay, interesting. This guy's real slow, so we can shift our position across the road now. I think we this this Mjolnir is the guy that we got to take out. The Spectre's not so bad. I mean, if the Spectre gets within range of this guy, this guy's a melee mech, so if he gets within range, he's dead. Let's find out what happens here. Yeah, we definitely came in underweight here, that's for sure. At least our escape point is very, very close to the exit point. Worst case scenario, we just bail. Once he leaves, we just bail out. I hate saying that because you know me, I don't like to bail out of a battle. If I can stick it out to the end and, and destroy the enemy, I'll do that. Okay, they're gonna shoot. They're gonna shoot Grimdark. So we're gonna shoot this guy. We got a better chance to hit now, so we use the ATM and fire. Good to go. Affirmative. Same idea. And let's go HE. Gonna warlord this too. Nice. Critical hit. Lost evasive now. Just gonna make him mad. Just gonna make him mad. Uh, I'm gonna go normal, better chance to hit and firing. There we go. Enemy down. I wonder how far that meal the millionaire is gonna move in. So it's not bad heat wise up here in the attic today. A little warmer than it was last night, but not so bad. A little over thirty degrees here. Celsius. I think it was like thirty three today. So not so bad. we get behind we cannot get behind him so let's move Coordinates received. see if we can smoke this vehicle this turn uh yep Firing everything I've got. oh yeah man that's a vehicle kill sure is standing by Ooh, phantom mech is often as we can. What's up, buddy? Surprise! Byron. Okay, I'm on it. Oh yeah, both heavies hit. Nice. Got past the armor. I'm 
ready for orders. No shooting, just running. Engaging. It's going to be a back kill, but we got to shoot. Everyone's got to shoot at him, or as many guys as we can have to shoot at him, so he has multiple targets. It's going to end up shooting for the vulture. I know that, but who knows? He might actually go after Grimdark, but it's unlikely. He's going to shoot for the vulture. Oh no! Really, going after the exterminator? Well, you sure as hell weren't going to hit the screamer. That's for sure. Not going to save you. God, he moves so slow. Commander? Got it. Changing sides. Hammer him. Commencing alpha strike. See if we can get him unstable. Good to go. Good to go. Oh yeah. I'm here. He's unstable, he's all yours. Engaging jump jet. He's all yours. Oh, not quite enough. Scored a critical hit. You did. That could have been a lot worse. It's not going to save you. Well, at least he's still moving forward. So, yeah, if you guys didn't see the uh, Night Witches episode, it took forever for him to move to the out point. So I had to cut the video. <laughs> there we go. That's better range. Moving to position. I had to cut the video just to get him to the to the out point. Affirmative. There you go. Mech destroyed. Aye, aye. Never run an XL inner sphere engine. I don't know why I vigilance, but whatever. Come on, Grimdark. Standing by. Okay, I'm gonna set up here. I mean, I technically know where the where they're gonna come from. I played this map so many times. Good to go. So we're going to set up, but we're not... Normally I, I try and set it up so that um, we can fight the, the mechs behind us too. But I'm not really worried about it this time. Like one will come from here. One comes from way back here. He's got a couple more turns before he gets out. And then there's two here. Like up over here. But our escape point is here too. So I'm thinking... Commander? we got tons of resolve too. Right, Commander. I'm thinking that if we can get... Um, ourselves set up on this one side Let's move. because it's I mean it's just one guy right um, didn't want to move too too far he got to be able to see us still so it's just the one guy go, going out Waiting for orders. okay just walk it up I'm here uh, let's get you not where the dropship's going to be because that would be bad. Waiting for order. And you can support Hannibal. Okay, here we go. Oh, you... Um... Good to go. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Good to go. Okay. Here he goes. 
destroy enemies. Is this an elemental? It is, and a barbarian. Okay. A vehicle on that side. So we got one turn before he leaves. Should be no problem. I have no idea what's back here. But honestly, don't care. We gotta make sure we stay the hell away from this barbarian. Now, can we get up on... We sure as hell can. He's got an AMS too. That's one or the other. Looks like it's going to be you then, buddy. Um, yeah, let's just fire the HE on him. Now, I think he's got the advanced AMS. Somebody's fast. Oh, it's him. MRMs. Let's not get too close. Mech is on fire. Much better chance to hit this guy. We're going to warlord it though. Cool ourselves off a little bit. Apparently not. Um, let's go high explosive. Okay. Do not want this guy meleeing us. Is it just me or does this Phantom Max seem like it comes up a whole heck of a lot? I know I said I don't want him uh, meleeing us, but with this uh, kind of defense, I'm not really that worried about it. Oh, we got all six of them, eh? Okay, so it's two vehicles. Once this barbarian's gone. Good job. Objective secure. Let's clean this up, guys. I mean we could just walk out of here, but let's not let's not leave any mech uh, standing or any vehicle standing down here. Okay, who's going what now? Hannibal's going on 26, so it can't be, uh, they can't be that bad. It must be the elemental, yeah. They're coming around the side. Yeah. Ooh, we got a ghost. It's the ghost light! The ghost mech. Commander? Yep, let's OP this guy. See if we can kill him. Oh, well, we destroyed left, left torso. That's a critical hit. Sure is. I'm here. Roger. Just want to make sure we are sta we're stable here, just in case. All right, let's blow through his side. Wow, really? Can you get a side shot on him? Can you knock him down? I'm 
on my way. Double time. What you got left, CT? One. See ya. Oh man, we got lucky with the draw. We got lucky with the draw. So the uh, if you guys didn't watch the Night Witches episode, uh, definitely go watch it to see the difference in um, mech loadouts. Ah, oh, geez, we're almost at an ATM. Um, for the mechs that we had to face in the mission. Have a seat. Because I'll tell you, it was such a huge difference. Huh. Well, not that huge of a difference. But the weight difference was, was big. See ya. I got a question. Has anyone tried using power armor in any any of their missions? Like, have you guys captured power armor and used it? And if you have, how's it worked out for you? I'm interested to know. I mean, I don't see a lot of value in it, but... I'm out of LRM. What's up, boss? Like, I know they're super, um super evasive On my way. and I guess if you have the right pilot they could I guess be okay but I don't know standing by here we go all right screw it Copy that. Yeah. Vehicle trash. Watch those heat levels. There it is, folks. Mission one done. Successful. Well, we got good increase in contract pay, which I uh, hope uh, covers the, our uh, mech that was destroyed. Ah, good. At least she didn't get killed. Oh my God, that would have been horrible to lose her on that mission. But this is definitely repairable. I don't. I mean, we. I don't. I think. I don't know if we have. Like, we're running low on ATM ammo. Not that it matters. I mean, this is the last episode of the series anyway, but um, this would be easily repairable. Um, the only thing in the ER, the clan ER mediums, is one of the things that we're, uh, we don't have a lot of. So that would be tough, tough to replace. Uh, judge with five kills. Nice. Okay, well... Um, we lost the mad dog. Yeah, really? Well, we got a meal near. Yeah, we lost it. Yeah. Not that it matters that much. I'd be take I would definitely take the stuff that I would want to um replace on a new mech. Most likely that. Um, do we have extra sensor trackers? We've got three extra, and then I'll probably be eight, taking the ATM ammo, most likely. That's probably what I would do. I mean, we'd be trading the Mad Dog for a uh, another Mjolnir. One, two, three, four gladiator parts. One, two, three, four, four Mjolnir parts. And then a bunch of other junk. Well, we could, at least we got a slick suite in there. And there it is. Based on a personal grasshopper, a Torg Miraborg. Yeah, it's not too bad. Nice little bit of a trade off. Yeah. I prefer the Mad Dog over the Mjolnir, but 
What do you do? Ah, I think what killed us, just before we take this next little bit, I think what killed us, I mean, we were caught out of position. Um, and I was hoping to flank the guy on his left side. But then he turned and came down towards my my um, my vultures. And one was able to move away. But the other one, the, he went before the other one. So I couldn't really do much about that point. She got trapped where she was, unfortunately. But anyway. All right. Thank you. These humans want to hurt Grimdark and they not stop. Sorry the locals are trying to put an end to you. Such, an easy, such a unique life form. I don't think Agent X did him justice by calling him a drone. What I wouldn't give to know him better. I bet you're kind of freaky like that, Yang. Let's keep, let's keep in mind he's considered a living creature until proven otherwise and should be treated as such. I completely agree, Commander. We should uh, open talks with them if we ever get the chance. Yeah, maybe. Um, I will keep myself professional repairs only, Commander. Good. How can we help you, Grimdark? We must stop humans that wish to hurt Grimdark. I say we take battle to them. Really. Very well, we are in. But once we get these areas clear, we need to get you out of here. Grimdark leaves when Grimdark is ready. Really. Easy, big guy. The sun's going down. The sun is going down. Grimdark doesn't understand what the geo-position of a ball of gas has to do with leaving. Actually, it's not a ball of gas. It's plasma. However, Grimdark does feel calmer now. Let's take down the hunters, then Grimdark leave. You help Grimdark? We defeat bad guys together. Rounding up. See you, planet side. Oh, great. Um, victory is only outcome, Commander. See, here's the problem with this. Is he's he's like gonna be taking up one of our slots? God damn it, Grimdark! Ah, okay, let's take Griff. Let's take Mockingbird. And um, what do you think, Six Pack? Should we do this? At least he's not moving on his own. We get to move him. Alright, how do we want to do this? Um, okay, dire wolf potential. Two gosses, two ER larges. Should we just go all 100 tonners? Kerberos has got the BFG 9000 Gauss rifle and an ER PPC. I wasn't able really to get this thing back to where I wanted it to. Um, do we save this for the... Uh, there's one more battle after this one. Do I save this for the last battle or do I take it now? Let's take it now. Why not? And uh, Mockingbird, you want to go with the Orion, do you think? Pararac 5s, grind the enemy up. Um, actually, let's... Do I want to go Dire Wolf or do I want to go this guy? Oh, this thing is so whack. Um, let's take this one. No, let's go with the Dire Wolf. Um, and then let's go with... Actually, you know what? No. Let's go with King Crab, and let's go with the Orion. Because I want to run the Dire Wolf, the Timber Wolf Prime, or Pirate. I'm going to call it Prime, but and then one of the two other Timber Wolves for the final battle. Kind of harken back to our old Lance. So let's deploy this. All right, here we go. Attack them, Commander. Turn them to rubble. Alright, Barney Rubble. Okay, we got vehicle. Wow, that guy came up fast. There's our first victim for the day. 
you think? Hope we get a sensor trace of Marnum over here because I can just put a massive minefield down. Wow, they've already got eyes on us. What is that guy? Reporting minimal damage. We're in for some fun, I think. What is this guy? Thunderbolt. Okay. Waiting for orders. Uh, Mockingbird, we need to take their eyes off. Can we do that, please? 940 armor. Give us the best chance to hit. See if we can pull pull this guy to battle, maybe. Not quite enough, but a hell of a lot of damage. You got that right. Oh yeah, man, stripped his armor. Nice. Yes, Commander. Move orders received. Firing. Have fun moving over there, buddy. I think we're going to shift to the right. Get their eyes off. Yep. Ah, not quite enough, eh? Good to go. Roger that. Look at this thing. Look at the arms on it. Looks like some McDonald's toy. <clears throat> All right, firing. There you go. Grimdark kill. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Not bad. Receiving you. See if we can land more mines on this guy. Copy that. No luck. <laughs> Enjoy, buddy. Gladiator, great. Okay, we got the tag on him. Ajax assault tank. Okay, nice. Missile carrier. Heavy rocket carrier. Okay, so it's all vehicles on this side. And a catapult. Overheat alert, huh? Okay, another thunderbolt back there. Uh, I'm just gonna plink this guy. Let's just use the ACs on him. Hopefully the Ormond Gundyr can go before that guy.
Let's just shoot at this guy. that gladiator to move. Well, I want the Yorman Gunner to move first, then the gladiator to go. Hopefully he runs all the way up and makes a failed attempt at meleeing. Then we can get uh, um, Griff and Mockingbird behind him and wreck him. Fingers crossed. Oh, he's jumping. That's not a very good move, buddy. You do know what Grimdark is, right? Ready for orders. Actually, how's he doing here? Jeez, he went right through that minefield, barely took any damage. Um, let's go this route. Multiple enemies locked in. Yeah. Failed to connect. See if we can pull this guy to battle. Uh, wow, bad chances to hit, man. Hopefully we get some leg hits. Well, let's just see. That seemed like a really, 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 really big gun. Like a really, 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 really big gun. This guy's got a lot of armor. Grimdark angry. Come on, you better land this attack. Locked on for physical attack. Oh, you idiot. Hope he kills you. Okay, let's strip the leg. Okay, that guy's gone. Six left. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Uh-huh.
waiting for orders. Yeah, at this point, both racks are jammed. Well, we did have three good turns. Nice. She's still reliable even with the tag and the medium pulse. I gotta say, if I had to choose between Megasaur and, and Mockingbird, my favorite pilot, I think I would choose Mockingbird, but just by a sliver. I think the reliability of her firing at really, really low percentages. 122, huh? Gonna need a little bit more than that. That was really bad. Yeah, because you missed him. That's why. It's good to go. Engaging target. No joy. Oh man, Grim, Grimdark better punch him this time. Because if he dies, that will be sad. Not for me, I mean, I just, I'll go on, I don't care. That's a lot of Solaris spikes. Yeah, you only got one shot at it, buddy. Better make it a good one. Move into position. Just don't hit his arm. There you go. Target eliminated. That's how it's done. Standing by. I wonder if we have a chance to kill this guy. Probably, eh? Oh, he's got rocket launchers? That could be devastating, though, so... If he got close enough... Unleashing with all that could be bad. Let's get the guaranteed kill. I think they're having a hard time seeing us now. Okay. It's pretty smoky in here. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. That must be the MRM version. Uh, I can't be. Not if it's firing chaff and uh This guy doesn't have anything almost like nothing left on his legs here. Huh. Standing by. It's all yours again. I think when he moves, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's get you in the trees, buddy. Ready for orders. Mm, that's not getting the minefield. That's better. That's a little better. Just shoot this guy. Yeah, finally connect with that AC. Okay, drop a multi on this. Uh, no, we're just gonna shoot this guy, I think. Should we go over? Nah, this is far this way.
Yep, not liking this loadout, but it's doing okay. Okay, one the racks up on this guy, please. He's got so much armor. Waiting for orders. Warlord back. Here you go. Target confirmed. Let's just thicken that minefield up just a bit more. Yeah, it's interesting how that Jorman Gunder can pretty much control this battlefield. I mean, there's places that we can't go, but I don't care. That should... yeah, there you go. Okay, catapult's all yours. All right. He's still in our kills, but I don't really care. That's a kill. Getting the job done. It's all that matters. Standing by. I'm there. Come on. There you go. Vehicle down. She's so reliable. Okay, can we unload with everything? We most certainly can, and at 99% to hit, I think we do an offensive push to this guy's head. <laughs> Do we get a headshot, though? I don't think we got a headshot. Oh, we did. Yeah, one, got, one got to the head. Not bad. Um... What do we got left? SRM carrier. Um, this got a lot of acid ammo. You penned. Waiting for orders. Just stay the away from that uh he's got a supercharger so we're gonna move the hell away from that uh, acid thing acid thing of a bobber get the hell over here okay we're heating up something crazy Okay, we can afford to leave two of the Ultras off and fire the LRMs on the other guy. Or, or did I, I screwed that up. Enemy I screwed that up. But I don't really care. Mockingbird's gonna kill this guy. See ya. You sure did. Me, Grindar King. You're not a king. How can Grimdar think he's the king? I mean, we're doing all the work for crying out loud. Well, maybe not. He got three kills. But, you know, we gave it to him. Did take some damage, though, in the internals. Hopefully he gets all repaired. Alright, what do we got here? Three pieces of salvage. I mean, we should just take catapult parts. Most likely, 
We'll get a catapult out of it. Double heat sinks though. Nah, this is what I would do. Yeah. If I had a choice, that's what I would go with. I mean, I do have a choice. <laughs> but it's the end of the season, so not that it matters. Gladiator part. Some Thunderbolt parts. Yeah. Got one of the cores too. Not bad. Alright. Let's have a look here. 36,000 in six days for repairs. Not bad. Do, do, do. All right, Grimdark 3, let's do this. Who's to argue with the king, Commander? Well, I would, but I argue with everybody. It's just how I am. All right. So, six-pack Mockingbird, you're going to stay in. Uh, we're going to bring Griff back for the last battle. And we're going to bring Rhino in. Um, and then let's run Direwolf. Uh, yep, yeah. and then the new, the D, I think was the new one. Is it the new one? Weapon mounts, ER larges. The C. Oh, right, we put the PPCs on the arms. Oh, we put a weapon mount for the PPC. Um... Do I want to go three Timberwolves? Forget it. Let's do it this way. Let's deploy. Okay, let's do this. He shot Grimdark 2. Kill! Alright. Good hunting, Commander. It's always good hunting, isn't it? That's pretty far away. Standing by. Stay frosty, y'all. Commander. Focus your fire. Keep your head up. Keep your stick on the ice. Don't get beat. Man. Strange Brew. I wish they did another version of that. Bob and Doug McKenzie were the best. Alright, you're our melee target du jour. With your goofy arms. course. It's always enemy reinforcements, but from where? Oh! They're flanking. Okay. Commander? I think we kill the flankers first if we can't, or maybe not. We can pull these guys down early. Godzilla figures. Pretty baby. A freaking Godzilla. Because of what else is it going to be? Okay, Valkyra, Thunderbolt. Yes, Commander. Alright, Mr. Dark. Get that goddamn supercharger on. Going full drop. You need to get within melee strike range. Full throttle. Well, hopefully they can't see us. He's got four Goss rifles, eh? It's okay, I got two and two larges. With really good chances to hit. Waiting for orders. Firing again. This 
Hit and run. Huh. Same guy. Yes. Come on, Griff. Yeah, baby. There's the power of the clans right there. Okay, you don't need a supercharger on right now. Down in the valley here. Copy that. Rudder 2, Thunderbolt, Procurio. We got a good fight here. Yes, Commander. We got a good fight, and I'm loving every minute of it. Enjoy some ER largest, baby. Standing by. And as much as I would love to close and engage these guys, I'm doing what the clans do best. Firing. Taking the shot. This is how we play the game. Here it comes. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I got one. Should have just fired. Okay, they're almost at the top of the hill there. We will be moving down into the valley very shortly. Is it just those two guys over here? I really hope not. No luck. Ready for orders. Target confirmed. Oh. Going to keep moving this way. On the move. Going to move away from the uh, oncoming traffic. Waiting for orders. Down to 11. See ya. Okay, they do have guys up there still. Hope we can salvage that. Do you really? Because I do think we have extra parts. Gotta move way up the hill, eh? Let's just reserve then. Just reserve. Okay, crapple pulls as well. Eris. And what's this other guy? Cyclops. Yeah, interesting. Definitely some stiffer competition than in the uh, Night Witches, that's for sure. But it is perfect competition for us. Wow, terrible chance to hit. Stay in the trees. 
Stay in the trees. And fire. And firing. Once their second lance gets eyes on, we're going to be in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but a little better chance to hit us. I think they spot this guy, though. We're gonna. I think we're gonna get Grimdark up there. Um, Supercharger is still fine. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, we got eyes on. We should be able to hit these guys really well now from the other side of the map. Uh, let's warlord it. See if we can pull this guy down. Firing. Firing. Nope. Okay, let's start moving our way over here a little bit. I'm there. Get off that hill a little bit. Okay, warlording. It's again firing on the Cyclops. Here it comes. Ooh, groin shot. Two groin shots. Ooh, see ya. That's a kill. That is a kill. Took two shots to the pills and went down. I think it's time we rotate to this Marauder 2. <laughs> Headshot! Oh, that was so beautiful! Oh. Watch Grimdark get killed now, though. Um, oops. Turn that supercharger off. Just stay out of sight. Just stay out of sight, guy. We'll take care of the problem for you. This guy's hard to hit, that's for sure. Not for Mockingbird, though. Yes, Commander. There's no way up here? Affirmative. See if you can draw this guy in. Draw him into a melee fight. Okay, I gotta shoot in this Aris. Huh? 
Ah, you might be within range. That's not good. Okay, Thunderbolt. What do you think, guys? Can we do it twice in a row? Now yeah, we hit with one anyway. Mess him up. Mess him up good. <laughs> Dude, calm down. The guy's moved to a range now. Yes, Commander. No, we want the heiress, please. Okay, that may have been a leg hit. Yeah, you know, a lot of people like having that, that hit thing up box in the top. I kind of like not knowing some of the times. Well, a lot of the times, like, you know. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. You can't even script something that good. And then Grimdark takes a headshot and dies. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if we kill all these guys if the actual mission will succeed. That's an interesting thing. That air is hidden? No, it's not hidden. On the move. It's just really hard to see. Up. There goes the arm. That hit something good. Don't think it was a torso though. Not enough internal structure damage. Reading you. Moon walk in. Well, the green oak, Grimdark said he was the king, so he kind of deserved what he got. That was the torso. A hit. Going down. Have a seat. Oh, see ya. All right, time to push these guys. Time to push these guys. I'm here. See if we can get him. Oh, not quite, eh? Reporting critical hit. Significant damage, though. Let's move. Save your OP for next turn. This guy's done. You know, nowhere here, nowhere there does it say make sure Grimdark survives. Ow. Whoever designed that Thunderbolt loadout, that's a big clap for me. That's a pretty good, uh, some damage there. And like very little heat on this guy. Medium heavy laser pirate. MRM 20 and three flamers and a rotary two.
Well, thanks for showing up. Oof. Ah, we can't get lucky twice in one. Twice in one game. Should have gone for the leg. Waiting for orders. Roger. Keep forgetting how agile these uh, these mechs are for uh, seventy-five tonners. It's so beautiful how quick they are. Okay, got the tag on him. Let's see what he does. His rack's jam, so it's not going to be doing too, too much damage. Oh, here comes that Valkyra. One thirty-four. Normally that would be scary, but Griff hasn't been hit yet, so not that scary. Yeah, not really that low. Okay. Just walking back over here, buddy. Who do we want to kill? 85, 99. Let's see if we can core him. Yep. Uh, let's fire a maneuver here. Just gonna shoot him. Okay, arm and torso damage. Uh huh. Ooh, 174. Why the increase in damage all of a sudden? Oh, he's using the slug too, the bastard. Oh, because of the acid, that's why. Let's get on this side. I think with his leg gone, he can't melee. At least I'm pretty sure. Alright, last two Goss rounds. Let's take this guy's leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Well, even if you can, Millie. Won't matter. That's all yours, girl. Finish him up. There you go. That's a Kill. Grimdark King, next time leave Grimdark alone. Well, you're dead, so I don't think it really matters. Mission successful. Alright, mission success. It's weird, uh, Grimdark died and we still succeeded. He, he was killed in action, too. <laughs> oh, oh well. Good thing he downloaded all his uh, stuff, his uh, data to a different AI, eh? Yep. Yeah, three kills for Griff. Nice. All right, what do we want out of this? Not that it matters. I mean, it is the last episode after all. Although, one, two, three, four. We finally got the pretty baby we always wanted. Take the Cyclops part and Godzilla part. Why not?
I mean, we could have got a Godzilla, but... 100 ton mechs for me just seem to be more of a hassle than what they're worth. Anyway, let's confirm this. Okay, Catapult parts, Cyclops part, one, two, three, Godzilla parts, one, two, Marauder two, and Pretty Baby parts, yeah. Yeah. That mech is ready to fight, there you are. Danielle Bruson's awesome. Pretty Baby hero mech. LRM SRMs, SRM4. 19 double heat sinks. Wow, that's a hell of a lot of double heat sinks. Interesting. Oh, we got a Cyclops too. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wait, how do we get two pretty babies? Do we have actual regular awesome parts that somehow... And a Godzilla? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? We just got five... <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. What the hell do I say to that? Uh, I'm going to scrap this one meal near because we've already got one. And we'll scrap the Thunderbolt. What the, what the shit is this? What the, how, I don't even, what the hell? How many mechs did we get? Oh, something crap, uh, something went nuts. Ah, uh, something happened. Um... Hope this isn't going to a spin lock. I don't even... Uh, what? There's no way. Okay, we're in a spin lock. Alright, I'm going to... Um, well, that really sucks. I wonder if it's because the queue got full. I wonder if... Um, this is interesting. Uh, since this is the last episode, I'm not worried about having to do this, but we're going to put these guys... Yeah, I don't think it matters what we do here. Yeah, it's screwed up. Ah. Uh, well, I'm going to log out and log back in. Honestly, I don't know how many mechs we may have assembled or maybe we didn't assemble. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. I'm going to log out log back in. We'll see what happens. Hang on one second. All right, guys. Well, sorry to say, unfortunately, I can't. Um, if I go to load game here, go to uh, Griff's Careers, um, I can only get to the beginning of Grimdark 3. It doesn't actually save until, after. I guess, after the mission is done. Uh, so, that being said, um, I'm going to have to end the series here. Unfortunately, we don't get to see what that pretty baby looks like, uh, which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping we could, but um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to end the series here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Feel free to subscribe, of course. Uh, when the new Rogue Tech comes out, I will be, um, like I said, starting up a new career going with that. Um, we're going to have two, um, basically, games running at the same time, saying, they're, saying two dropships off the same Argo. So, yeah, if you haven't heard the story behind that, uh, that's where we're going to go with that one. I'm um, going to keep my eye open for when the new Rogue Tech's released, and hopefully... Uh, we'll be starting right away with that. Um, I'm just concerned that um, if we start right away, 
then something will happen that will end up breaking saves when they do an update um, and we'll be stuck in a, on an older version or a buggy version. So we'll see how it goes when it first comes out. Um, I'll probably pull a few missions. I might just do a free, a, a, a few um, um, episodes of just, you know, getting it going, seeing what the new features are, things like that. And then once it settles and it seems like it's in a relatively stable version, I'll, I'll start the series at that point. Like I said, I just don't want to do... Um, like I just don't want to start up when there's going to be game game breaking stuff. So yeah, um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for any other games you'd like to see me play, please uh, drop them in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do. Um, until that point in time, I'll probably still be playing uh, Seven Days to Die because I'm really enjoying that series, or really enjoying playing that game. Um, but yeah, and I might, uh, depending on how long it's going to take, I might actually do some. Uh, um, independent missions like a, like maybe start another uh, um, campaign uh, with uh, low level guys again with this current version of Rogue Tech um, just for a little bit um, depending on how long it's taken the other the new version to come out all right so yeah until next time I guess we'll see well stay tuned for episode 121 where we actually compare the uh, the mech pilots we're gonna go in um, have a look at each pilot individually um, see what their kill levels are uh, like, you know, the skill levels were nice, but I think it's actually going to be a number of missions run um, with number of kills and things like that. So, because uh, the pilots here in this series have better skills than the ones in um, um, Night Witches. And I think a lot of that is because we've been we've been taking missions at like a higher skull rating. Um, and I think we've been getting just a lot more experience based on that. So I think that's why it worked out that way with these guys. Okay, so yeah, until next time, or until episode 121, we'll see you later.